morning guys um, today I'm going to be doing a uh, review of the Amiga 350 um, I'm a motorcyclist uh, I do a lot of touring around and camping and everything like that so um, I, I was using a small um, Nova 200 Van Gogh with the uh, with the gear store uh, this year I thought I'd, uh, I'd upgrade and I went for the uh, I went for the 350, the Amiga. Um, we do a 250, uh, which looked just a little bit smaller um, on the uh, porch area and everything like that now. As maybe some of you know, going out and motorcycling around, you know, sometimes you get adverse weather and everything like that. So just having that option to have a little bit more room on the inside uh, to store all your wet gear and everything like that. And also just somewhere to sit uh, if the weather is, is is bad and everything like that with the with the head height as well. So yeah, I'm going to be uh, I've not actually unpacked it yet. So we'll uh, we'll just um, yeah go ahead unpack it, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll do like a time lapse of um, the the tent being set set up and my uh, my view on it. So straight away. Um, out of the, the sack and everything, it's a, it's a decent sack this, um, it's a top loader uh, so you don't have to try and cram the tent into into a small bag, plenty of room there so if you um, if you do pack it up a little bit big you've got these um, you've got these compression straps and everything like that that will really that will really help so there we go, <coughs> there you go you can tell it's never been opened <laughs> so let's just see what we've got uh, got in here <clears throat> let's just uh, um, have a little look oh, that's way quite neatly so uh, yeah we've got the little bag of pegs uh, and the little puncture repair kit and um, another little guy line in there and everything so that looks pretty standard first thought on the pegs seem seem okay quite light um, yeah they should they should be okay pretty standard again um, <clears throat> then the poles yeah all bagged up I do these um, these quite light um, poles. I'll go into. I'll go into a little bit more about that uh, when on the setup and everything like that. So uh, yeah, that's all you get. Um, that'll be the ground sheet for the port porch area. I take it. Uh, yeah, and the rest looks pretty standard. So I'll leave it there and um, and let's get the, let's get it set up. Cheers for now. So uh, here we are, we're all set up. Let's give a quick walk round. <clears throat> yeah, really impressed with how it went up actually, to be honest. Um, nice and easy, just a one pitch tunnel tent. That's what they uh, 
advertise it as so yeah everything looks uh, pretty good on first impression bango really you expect quality so um yeah we'll just uh, get into it then a bit more in depth just firstly when these poles go in um these are the um the lightweight uh power light t6 alloy poles when they go in um they are color coded um and there's a little code here on the tab as you can see and then uh, different just a different one for the middle the two outer ones uh, are exactly the same um, and then you uh, put those in and then you've got these clips here I don't know why actually they didn't they didn't bring this section all the way down because there is this sort of bit here where um, people have um, I don't know whether they've pegged it out wrong or the tension system inside is slightly wrong but they've 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 actually buckled these poles so why that why that sleeve doesn't come all the way down um it does on a lot of the other tents and that'll just give that bit a bit more support within within that it might be just the design and everything like that with it being a, a half round tunnel tent um and then on the outside you've got these two these are the clear clear windows the diamond clear windows one on that side and then one on that side that's got the uh, that's got the little cover i'll show you on the inside the little cover there and that's with uh, without it and then all the guy the guy lines of uh, these are all reflective um with the little self-locking uh, bit on there which is quite nice so yeah all in all um this is the uh, the fabric is a um the latest sort of fabric it's the protex eco uh, material this is and actually a lot of it is um, recycled uh, plastic uh, they use it with that but it's it's got this sort of um, 70 denier um, hexagonal sort of look to it which means it um, it's like a rip stop um, so that's uh, so that's pretty good yeah going around then on the inside and this was one of the main features that I quite liked plenty of uh, plenty of head height and everything so that chair um, and I'll just get in, in here and then you can just see I'll just spin that round there we go <laughs> plenty of head height um, that's what I quite in, thought was a good idea because um, sitting in here um, if it's bad weather outside it'd be quite nice and there's loads of room uh, it's got this sort of bathtub uh, ground sheet which just clips up um, still still give you a bit of ventilation and everything like that and that's the that's these little covers on the windows that's the one with it shut like that just velcros over um, and then this is the one when I've just tied it all back and then we've got this sort of tension system um, that Van Gogh designed and they they put it down to the corners there and that sort of just to give that pole a bit more rigidity and everything like that but all in all yeah nice uh, little ground sheet like I say quite nice and this ground sheet actually the outer covering they they say that it's um, it's a, a, a 5,000 uh, hydrostatic head on the bag but actually on the website they say it's a, um, a 3000 so that's a bit uh, I'm not quite sure which one it is and also on the Van Gogh site they do say it's um, uh, this Pro Haven um, material which is 5000 but then they say it's the the other material which is a 3000 so it's a bit um, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit vague really I'm not sure of that anyway going into the sleeping area nice big area here um, and then and then the doorway just packs packs away quite nicely and there's a little uh, stuff sack here that you can just pop it into which is quite neat um, just takes it out of the way there look and then you've got all these little pockets down on the inside you've got four that side and then another four that side um, yeah again it's the 6000 
hydrostatic head on the um, on the ground uh, ground sheet of the um, sleeping area, and then this bathtub, this bathtub uh, sheet just fits in quite nicely here. Um, yeah, so all in all, uh, really really pleased with it. Uh, but <laughs> and there is a but, <laughs> I have found one thing which might be an issue. Now, as you can see on here, this has got like a meshing on the inside of here, uh, which is like an inner door meshing. Now, if I show you outside on this, this is the main door here. Um, I'm going to zip this up so I can show you. Um, yeah, so nice finger one finger pull key uh, ring on the on the zip really easy to, uh, to do it. and all the way down and then you've got this nice heavy strap there a flap rather that then velcros over giving a really nice coverage to the uh, to the to the zip and everything like that you can be right back there it's giving a good coverage and that's all the way around it's really nice you know plenty of velcro there to hold that down now then we go over to the other side <clears throat> and this this might be a bit of an issue well it will be for me um, now on this side again you've got this nice decent flap and everything like that going around but what you've got here is it's very tight on this velcro here to this double zipping arrangement and that is the outer fly sheet there and then that attaches then to that inner fly screen there so of course it's not it's hardly covering the the edge of that seam and a very small amount of velcro right on the edge so if i pull that down now that's okay you could say that's covered you could say you know you're going to get the rain coming there you're not going to get much going into that but then we come round to the bottom of the door here now as you can see here this is quite tight here you've got a very small amount of velcro here on that bit you've got a very small amount of velcro on this bit and you can see how tight that is to the edge of this door here it's hardly covering now a little bit of wind in there is going to blow that it's very loose um, I've, I've pegged it out properly with the guys coming straight down by the peg so I'm not putting any tension pulling at the door this way or pulling at the door that way um, so just going back to this bit if I just undid this little bit of velcro here now that then is is the two zip system this is the zip to the fly sheet attaching it then to the oops, one minute. attaching it to the inner fly screen like this now looking at that outer um, section there none of that is a, is a tape seam so that is going to get water going through and going into that zip on the other side that relies on that flap coming over the top of there well over the top on the other side to cover that to give that waterproofing protection um, but then on this side so you've got that one with no taping on at all so that that seam is not waterproof then on the inside here we've got this we've got this meshing now let's just open this up so we get a bit better view of this meshing right that's that meshing idea which is great um, it's good it allows for good ventilation now let's take up this zip of this so that that meshing there there is no taping on that whatsoever so all of that is going to be prone to water getting in and also then that zip as well 
is not got any taping on that's going to be prone to water getting in the only bit of all this connecting piece that has a tape on it is that piece and that is this outer piece here that's actually uh, attaching this flap so this is going to be a, this is going to be a bit of an issue because if you look at just there that's really tight when this comes back round again just look it's just it's just there's a there's a that's as tight as you can pull that and you've got this baggy you've got this bagginess here and if the wind's blowing in here just look it, it's just totally open to the elements you're going to get water coming in there i don't know how, i don't know how whether they they that that velcro there should should be on on this side so it brings that over and sits better like this i mean that's very tight you, it's, it's hardly it's hardly covering it but is that on the right place i can't i can't see that being right like that if you're getting a bit of wind in here and there's nothing to hold that and you're going to get water going down there so really um in my eyes that's a deal breaker uh it's just sat it's just not i can't see it being watertight i really can't um like i say just even here it's it's so tight onto that i'm just going to go around to this other bit might be might be i don't know if anybody else has experienced stuff but compared to this side which has got loads of coverage look it's covering well over the zip and there's plenty and this is where the velcro sits here it sits right over it's got loads of coverage so that's going to be fine nice there's no gapping or anything like that sits nice so yeah and that's a real problem um so i think really uh yeah it's, it's it's a good tent and everything like that uh ventilation didn't talk about ventilation but you've got plenty sort of coming up ventilation here um to allow a, a through draft right down to the other side there's another venting uh, section over here and it's a real it's great you know plenty but i just don't know about that zip i really don't so i'm gonna have to speak to van gogh about it and see what they uh, see what they say whether that's right i'll send them these uh, few pictures see if that's right that that can flop open in the wind and be exposing those zips that aren't waterproof yeah what a shame I had real high hopes for this. I did a lot of research and everything like that. Spoke to a lot of people. So yeah, so that's uh, so that's it for now. Um, I'll perhaps put a little post on how I get on with Vanga once I've spoke to them, and um, and see where we go from there. Then, but, um, yeah, that's uh, that's the end of the review. Um, just as a sum up, really, um, like I said, it's. Uh, I'm quite quite pleased with it um, just apart from apart from that zip so I'm gonna have a chat with uh, with with um, Bango and see what um, see what they say but just a few little um, uh, uh, technical bits and everything like that the the pack size of, of this particular one is um, 490 uh, wide by 200 uh, millimeters so that's quite a quite a good good compact size really um, and it's uh, five kilos so again I mean on on things like the adventure bike that I've got you know weight really isn't an issue and, and that's a that's a, a decent enough pack size um, the total sort of length um, of, of, of this tent is three, uh, 4.35 meters um, and it is widest here it's 2.2 meters um, and then um, height up here is 1.35 meters now 
it's quite a good size um, area in there, sleeping area and everything like that. Now, it is a three person. Um, you could get two people and all your motorbiking gear in there, no problem. The one for me is that the 250, um, the, 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 the model down from this, um, would, have, would have done inside for size and everything like that. But the height uh, of the actual um, porch area here is only 1.2 meters. So, as you see here, I mean that's that's 1.2. That's going to be 150 millimeters uh, difference in height um, when when you're at when you're at this 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 point here. So that's down that's down there, and then it starts to come away. So in a chair like like I'm sat here, you are going to be touching your head. So if you, if you did um, you know if you were in here in the rain and everything like that, with this, you're quite you're quite happy. You've got plenty of room around and everything like that, so you can quite happily sit in here. And the little windows are quite nice to see out. Um, and you can do your cooking in here as well. You you can you can vent the vent the top or vent the bottom. It's not a problem. And this bathtub uh, ground sheet really just it only connects in um, with with a couple of little toggle toggle clips. So this can be rolled back if you wanted to put your stove in here. So that's why I went for the three fifty um, because it just gave this extra this extra space. And to be fair, um, if you've been out on your bike. Um, and you've and you've got wet and everything like that to be able to lay your gear out here is fantastic um, You can you've, you've got plenty of room in there for your panniers and everything like that So yeah, all in all um, apart from that one little niggle with the uh, with the zip I'm really pleased with it. So if we can solve that um, It'll be a thumbs up. All right. I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Thanks very much